Whoops. Okay. Back at the ranch. Uh, okay. Time to go kill us an ice dragon. You! Yeah, you! So sick of your fucking ice giants, asshole. Let's see if I can... Because getting close to this guy is a pain in the ass last time I checked. He just hit a fucking crit and just do max damage? Fucking hell! That's bullshit. Or was it based on a fortitude save that I'm not seeing? Or what the fuck? <laughs> fuck this. I ain't doing no cutscene bitches. It's just gonna go backwards and hit me and two shot me. What fucking epic level fucking bullshit faggery is that? There I go, I was trying to fucking cheap cheap ass me again.
Fuck you. Fucking piece of shit, motherfucker. Plus four. And rejuvenation. Mm. Rejuvenation is useless for this character that I'm building. But the con. The con is greatly needed. How much did that do for HP? Did I even pay attention? <laughs> okay, health 220. That's not a lot. Might as well stick the peace protection on that. <clears throat> Water. What's up, motherfuckers? He's like, oh, I'm so fed up. <laughs> what the fuck is going down already? Go down and stay down this time forever. <laughs> Ow. Ow. Stay 
Stay down. <laughs> Oof. There's no place to recall to yet. What time did I start? Oh shit. <laughs> Pay attention, Travis. Oh no. Haha. <laughs> Ow, you bastard. You fucking hurt. Not be turned. Oh, ho. Stay down. Stay down. Is, that, is that anything good? Backward. 
Don't want you cutting out my safe spot. My pack won't hold anymore. Throw that shit at me. I'm carrying too much. Uh, I can't even carry potions. Jeff Goldblum. Yes. Here we go. Hey, Slavis. Peace. Peace. I know you're Show a traitor's no bastard, weapons. but still, hi. I have no wish to fight you. I am called. Before we, Slavis. I found out this guy was a traitor. I, I thought he was so fucking cool. The snaking trail of mud. To herd you here to this island. No and yes. The words you hear, the words I speak, they are not the same. There are serpents in the marsh, the Sketka, that when you squeeze from them their venom, weave it into your magics. All you speak is understood by all who hear you. It is a half magic, but of great use. So I have placed it upon you. The cries of the monsters of the marsh. The words of others of my people. Both will have sense to your ears. Nito. What do you want? I have brought you here to ask. Why you have come to our lands. The Onyx Tower. Is it your god? The Onyx Tower. Whose surface glitters like oil upon the water. It arrives in our homeland quick, sudden, and stabs into the heart of the marsh. Like a poison spear. All the tribes have raised their spears to it. Their hissing has become low and weak, that of slaves. The tower has devoured the hearts of my people, all except Slavos. Gee, uh, I can relate to that. <laughs> How? I do not know. Darkness falls, then rises, leaves the tower behind like a weapon dropped on a field of battle. Tower smells of fire pits and cities, things not of the marsh. Not even moonlight will touch it, for the tower drinks its light. It is a black kiss, a serpent's bite on the land. A well, lies in the tower. Within the tower is a spider of doors, bones, death. The spider wears the snakeskin of a female, a human. She has great power. Terrible anger, yet she is bones and hate only, with no blood body. She rose from the marsh after dying beneath its waters. She gives them weapons of metal, so they may take cities for her. Now my people slay trees, build great wooden machines that throw spears and rock. Make mud roads to Onyx door in Marsh. The one you walked through when you came here. She leads them to war. One they cannot win. She will make the sky rain with the blood of my people. Turn the tribes into a feast for the vultures. Slave us speak to the water. The mist. Slave us serve the Marsh. Uh-huh. Tower is I don't believe that part <laughs> now that blood. I know better. <laughs> Humans, cities. It smells of fire and hate. It does not belong in our lands. Slavus would never raise his spear to such a thing. Yet this has claimed my people. My people who need nothing of your cities. This marsh is big enough for many tribes of my people. 
Yet the spider within the tower wants to drive them into human cities to spill human blood. She promises gold, steel, food. But doing this will only kill my people. The dead have no use for such things. It is what she does. She makes onyx doors to dry places far beyond our lands. To cities and tribes of your people. That door in the innards of the human shrine you step from is one of these doors. Maybe we can help each other. If you will strike the spider within the tower, then I will give you help any way that I can. Supplies, guidance, these things I may help you with. If you wish to reach the tower, you must first go to the tribes of my people. Slave us shall ungrow the walls of vines in your path, clear the way for you. Continue along the snaking trail of mud to the drowned town of humans. Now the great gathering place of the tribes of the marsh. <sighs> Beyond the drowned city is the tower. Tell me of these tribes. Do they have any weaknesses? The tribes are camped in the innards of the human drowned city. To scatter them, you must break the spine of the tribes. Mm -hmm. Find our king, Sessith. Very strong, very angry, but stupid, like big tree. <laughs> he lives in great stone I like that line. in human town. Find him there, kill him, cess his death, or make the tribe scatter like quarrels and snakes. Follow the drums. They will lead you to my people. Very well, I'll go. Once before the great drowning, our land was the land of your people. Now, under the water, many things of your people can be found. Things of steel and magic. Slavers cannot use them, does not need them. The Great Drowning? Long ago, in the days when the sun's face was upon these lands and my people had not yet come, a king of your people claimed this land for his own. Mm -hmm. All this king sees, he claims as his. All he can touch, he says is his. He was foolish, greedy like most humans. Man, fuck One you. One day a shaman <laughs> came, sat in the middle of the lands, and sees not the king, hears him not. Makes king's blood burn like fire. The king sends soldiers to make great shaman see and hear him, but the shaman turns the land against him, throws fire at warriors, turns others to rock. The shaman makes king seem like little hatchling, makes the king very angry. So king finds another shaman, sends him after the first to make the first one see and hear. Shamans have big battle. Turn the land against each other. Both shamans die. The land becomes very angry. When land became angry, water beneath earth became angry. Water rises from water stair and swallows the warm blood kingdom. Kill your people. It was punishment. Punishment for a king that claimed to own land. No one owns land. The fuck I don't. Okay, I don't own land. Yet. Great break in land. Water pours up through it. Keeps the land beneath the water. Brings mists. Do not go there. Very dangerous place. Gonna have to.
Weapon time? Is it weapon time? That's uh Is that the best sword you got? 40 to 80. That'd be 40 to 80. What else you got? Okay. Half plate is stupid. Sword is forty to eighty. Let's go. Equip that first. Oh, skip. <laughs> skip. Doesn't have as long as a reach. Hmm. Oh yeah, dealing out forty-five to eighty-five now. You have returned. Huh. Is it help you need? Uh, where are your supplies? Yes. Bunch more stuff. Hmm. <laughs> yes, sir. You have returned. Shield. Oh, hey. No, oh, nope. Can't pick it up. Find. Yep. Now we go back to him, sell it, continue. And kick ass. And chew bubble gum. Fully decked out. What's my AC now? 95. Just in case I didn't go over an hour, or I did. That's what I meant. Yeah. 